Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom as I'm returning to the high seas. This is Black Sail Season 3, Episode 4, and I don't remember where we left off. There's always... Okay, 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 right, right, right. So, the crew of the walrus, many had died as they were becalmed, but they found... Oh, right! They've got a wind, and they ended up on an island inhabited by the indigenous people of that area. I have a feeling they're going to lose more sailors. And back on Nassau, the rest of the pirates are launching a defensive against the British who have arrived. Yeah, I think that's where we left off. I think that's where we left off, mostly. So I'm excited to get back to it. And thank you so much for joining me again. You all make this adventure so much more fun. So we are going to get under the big cozy blanket because it's chilly. We are going to remember that the full episode, you can watch it along with me on Patreon. And also if you if you want to, you can hit subscribe here. That helps out the channel as well. And I am drinking today water and I'm gonna be watering it up because I had five guys for dinner and I haven't had five guys in 20 years. And um, those fries are so salty. I think they're saltier than the ocean. So I'm just all, <laughs> I think I'll be able to form a sentence. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> but if you're ready, I think I'm ready. So we're going to get to it. And I saw Toby Stevens is going to be the new Jane Eyre. Do we need a new Jane Eyre? I don't, I don't know. But I'm excited that Toby Stevens is going to be in something new. And it's a historical drama. Okay, all you science-y, nature science-y people, which I was not. How do you, huh? okay, you got an island surrounded by water. How does that water turn into fresh water? Yeah, how does it turn into fresh water? Oh God, his leg must, oh, the stench. The stench must be, oh my Lord. Men have been asking questions. Such as? I've been thinking about our engagement with Captain Hornigold. He offered pardons to our entire crew. He had no way of knowing how many men we even had. But once someone's given him a hundred. Thousands. What's to say they haven't given him two hundred? Thousands. An entire island's worth. Ocean's worth. Entire, entire ocean's worth. I started wondering if your white horn and you have it in your head, you want to finally retake NASA from the pirates. Isn't the opening move in that attack the introduction of a universal pardon? You've been putting this together all this time <laughs> and never saying anything to me about it? Well, you haven't been putting it together. Flint, I guess not. He's been distracted. Men must be prepared to return to an embattled NASA. You must know we're about to join a fight to resist a British incursion. It's likely over already. It has been a few while. A few while. Oh, it's likely it didn't last long. Ooh. Oh. Did we miss it? Like seeing it? Hi. Just give me scoop some water. I'll be on my way. No! <laughs> Oh, and they got muskets. But I'm resistant. I'm unresistant because you and I told them to. For whatever reason, when you and I speak with one voice, we seem to be able to compel them to any end. But NASA will not be able to maintain such a resolve. Not without you or I there to help and stir it. Thoughts that may or may not matter, so I'm just not going to say anything right now. When I assembled my staff of advisors for this enterprise, I spared no expense. Some of the most promising sons of the most prominent families in London. Brilliant minds. Doesn't mean they know anything. Fair to say, I wouldn't trade you for any ten of them. By daybreak tomorrow, I'm told more than half of the pirates will have accepted the king's pardon. We will be ready to move my flag onto the island. I will need someone by my side at all times to aid in seeing it done. At the moment, I believe you represent the best candidate for it. Oh, 
Oh. They're there for vain for reals. Who is he? Apparently somebody not worthy enough, so Vane's just gonna shoot him through the door. Open it. I guess he didn't want to put a hole through the door. You recognize him? Paul. <laughs> Something or other. <laughs> Island full of murdering, thieving fucks. And you're the only one they can't forgive. Put it together. How does that make any sense? Put it together. The men behind that door will soon be joined by hundreds more seeking the bounty. In an hour, we'll be besieged. Well, you know what? This is very well constructed to weaken the pirates. The men have cast their lots. They are resolved that you convince Captain Vane to depart the fort. Hmm. They believe that turning him over might convince the British commander to allow them to keep the fort and the gold. They're stupid. They're never going to be able to keep the gold. Teach is still on the bay. There may yet be a way to salvage some defense. It's over. Over. Ah. Uh, it's not only over when Charles says it's over. And I suggest we manufacture a new exit. I think Charles is going to go down in a blaze of glory. Wow. And they just scooped them up. Didn't see if they're just going to be on the beach and then depart. Which makes me wonder, what do they need these men for? They're just more mouths to feed. Who are they? Maroons. Escaped slaves. Escaped slaves. It's all right. Shit. Oh, one ran away? To go where? Where's he gonna go? He don't know this island from squat. And how's he going to get off? The I, I can't feel any sympathy for him because this was not a smart move. The island is booty trapped. What? What? <gasps> That is majorly booty trapped. Well, that is a village. So is this all that's left of the walrus crew? I'm just trying to see how many of the walrus crew are uh, not white. <laughs> what is your name? Flint. Does she know who he is? How did you find this place? Don't look away. Do you know how you found a place? We were defeated in battle, thrown by a storm onto your shore. Who else knew your position? Who else knows where to find you? Ooh, trick question. No one. That could be a good thing, or that could be a bad thing. That one. That one what? I'll interrogate us one by one. Make sure our stories jibe. And then what? <laughs> Those that survive the first purge, it'll be hard labor. Oh, good God. <laughs> well, not like any you've ever known. Who is this? My name is Ben Gunn. I'm the last of 13 crewmen on a slave trader captured whilst careening on the windward side of the island. Oh, <gasps> wait. So he was on a ship that was trying to capture the people on this island? What did you do? Yeah. The fuse is lit. <gasps> Finding it hard to believe there's near enough material in that magazine to cause the sort of damage you seem to think it will. I have lost years of my life these last months trying to rebuild this place. And now he's tearing it down. We'll cover your escape to the jetty. It's not going to be easy. The whole island is seeking that bounty. My escape. Charles Ving does not go out like a coward. Teach specs here. You'll sail with him without looking over your shoulder the whole time, wondering whether he's going to back someone else to take your place. But me, I have no interest in living as a target of his. Nor would I be a ward of yours. 
but wherever we land, Anne and I will be taken care of. Taken care of? How? You sent aside some of the gold. She did. Oh. <laughs> okay, Jack. How much? <laughs> Godspeed, Charles. Fuck you, Jack. It's always fuck you, Jack. With the beach secured and no escape possible, they have no means to replenish supplies. Time is against them. But they're pirates. All the work all those slaves did to that fort and now it's uh crumbling oh jeez is the first one dead are they all dead she is everything here they say there is a king her husband and he exists abroad salvaging those rare items necessary for life here but impossible to produce such as i've seen no evidence of him She's not to be underestimated. What about the other one? <laughs> oh, is John gonna do some wooing? From the deference she's shown, I imagine she's next in line. I think they want us to think they're all of one mind here. There is a sympathetic ear out there. We just need to find it. Charles is just walking through town. He's just he's just walking through just walking through town. No scurrying from darky hole to darky hole. Just walk into the jetty. Did you not see him reach for his pistol first? Come on, Jazz, you fought worse than these dudes. He just strolled through town. Oh. Oh, ah! Edward's on the beach. Edward's on the beach. When did he get to the beach? <laughs> I should say. Teaches on the beach, teaches on the beach. Oh, to the kneecaps. Now go. Now go, sir, go. Mr. Scott. Good to see you, friend. Glad you'll be joining our efforts. <laughs> oh, Mr. Scott. I see no value in resisting what is clearly inevitable. Hardly a ringing endorsement. <laughs> so, how can I be of help to you? Eleanor! I know you were tasked with restoring it the first time. And I would be happy to do so again. Don't be too eager. Captain Rackham's slave laborers are nowhere to be found. Hmm. Someone must have left the pen unlocked there. Well, perhaps I can help in finding them and bringing them back. Dude. Dude, oh! I ever saw them for weeks, they know me. Oh! They might be persuaded to return knowing that they would be treated fairly, rather than risk being caught by, uh, less understanding red courts. Wow. That is unfortunately true. You don't think there's any way we can challenge that blockade directly, do you? Not exactly. Who's on your man of war there, Charles? But there's something else that you should know first. What? Show him! <laughs> Show him! There's good reason, it would seem, that you were the only one to whom they refused the pardon. <laughs> ben says this is how it went with his crew. Killed a handful to show they could. And then the chains and hard labor. If they put them to work, how did they all die? Trying to escape. Oh. How far did they get? 
Not far. <laughs> Overseer shot all but half a dozen before they made it to the tree line. Oh. The other one made it a full two days before they recaptured him. Him. Ben. But if he made it that long, maybe he knows enough to piece together a plan. Or John's gonna woo the daughter. Because once they've seen... I have the feeling that this is a, oh, you found our island once. We can never let you go to tell where we are. But is it possible we've missed the point of that story? <laughs> they all died. Oh, Flint, you're still on your mental journey with Miranda. Okay. Hey, Brussels is nice. Paris, maybe. Oh, fucking hell, Jack. Is it really as bad as all that? Tomorrow we can be on our way to anywhere in the world. Yesterday he was on top of the world. He was king of the island and now he's a refugee. We were so close to accomplishing something that would have written our names into history. There's no piece of the world for sale that can replace that. Does Jack still have his ship? Of course, I don't know if he has anyone to crew it, but does he still have his ship? What? He's in a... He's in a hut. Is it his time to be tortured? Do you know who I am? A rather convenient meeting person. But you refused. All of you. To a man, you refused to be pardoned. Why? Every man has his own reasons. No. No one has greater cause to sway England an enemy and desire vengeance against us as we do. Mm-hmm. Yet I believe, if you were offered the same choice as yours faced, it would not have been so roundly rejected. Oh. I'm asking you why you think that is. Oh. Your men are filled with anger towards England, as are mine. But my captain wants England to see that anger and make them fear it. And for whatever reason, your mother would prefer your men fear England. I think you see our interests are more closely aligned than your mother does. I have two dozen men in a cage out there of the opinion that she intends to kill us all sooner than later. And you're going to do nothing about it? Why should she, John? I think you need to give her a reason. Which you started. I think he planted a seed. You done this before? No, you. Nope. That's a big fire they're stoking on the ship there. I suppose she's due some credit. Dragged off to London in shackle. And returns in the governor's service. I'm convinced it's him to turn the whole of the world against you. That is pretty impressive. I don't doubt your anger towards her, but I have to ask. If in the course of our maneuver, we are forced to choose between escape and her death, where are you? Yeah, Charles. You've already drew the line in the sand once since she crossed it. When man is most is achieving our goal, to exit this bay with a fleet intact, and to move on from this place. Oh, they're just... Oh, they're... They're just moving on from Nassau that they wanted so badly and they just are leaving. I was taught a lesson once. It's been effective. Taught by whom? Uh. Her? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, your relationship with Eleanor is toxic. Charles, you don't need to go back to that. What is her interest? This woman, what is her interest? Your enemies on the island. You seem concerned about what I'm going to hear them say about you. Maybe it would be better to hear it now, while all else is quiet. <laughs> they would say I'm untrustworthy. That I would turn on anyone at any time. No matter how close they were to me. Mm -hmm. That given my history, only a fool would allow me to get close to them again. Would they be right? Yeah, sounds about right. 
What is it? What's on fire? <gasps> Are they torching the town? Oh no, just one ship. How the hell did she get so close? It's dark. She was hidden behind their line by the time she emerged, she was fully underway. She's subject to our full broadside. Is... Is this a bomb? Did they essentially make a bomb? The ship is just gonna sail right into them and explode. Oh no, they're all on it. They're all on it. They're all on it. What is this plan? Oh yeah, we've seen Charles do a special ops maneuvers in the water before. Oh, they're jumping ship. Okay, okay. So is this the man of war? Cut the anchor cables, get us underway. Is this the man of war that they're sacrificing? Oh, they got a ship, little ship ready to go. Start rolling now, guys, while that while you're undercover. Too high. You're aiming too high. Forget the rigging. Aim at his hull. Just gonna try to sink it. And he's making them use cannons. So that's using up some of their artillery. <laughs> Back to the island, the other island. <laughs> this seems to be a significantly more promising option than charging into a trap laden forest. I'm not sure why I needed to say that out loud. Flint's on his canoe with Miranda. Where are you? On a dinghy with Miranda. I know, I'm saying all the small ship names. But... Earlier, I told you that I was certain that the pardons would eliminate all resistance in Nassau. And you asked me how I was so certain. It's because I helped build them. I wonder if the civilization of Nassau isn't exactly what I tried to achieve all those years ago. I wonder if the pardons are the victory. And that the most enlightened thing that I can do is accept what appears to be inevitable. He's having this crisis now. Now, after all of his men died. Now. No, 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 nothing is inevitable here. I am showing you a way in which we can survive this. You're new to this. <laughs> But I know what the woman who leads this place is facing right now. She will not let us leave this place alive. She simply won't permit it. So you have to destroy her and put her daughter in charge? Billy's is that he can fight his way out of it. Yours is that you can talk your way past it. But for me... You're just gonna roll over you? I don't know that I have any more lies left in me. I don't think John's ever seen Flint not fully 100% behind whatever it is he has planned. No matter what it is, he will go after it. Right or wrong. And now he's like, ah. And John's probably going, what the fuck? We share a common enemy. Does that not make us friends? Daddy, but you must not let them sway you. Your father and I built this place to separate ourselves from their world. But we rely on the things that father sends back from their world. We are not that separate from them. We are separate enough that we have no need to see them. I have a question. For every day that we avoid colliding into their world is a day children are born here. 
is a day families exist here. The pirates, for as long as they draw breath, could and would, for a profit, compromise that secret. Why not consult father? You can get a message to him. He knows these men. He sailed with them. Father's not around anymore. Your father aids us from his position in Nassau. He might have lived <gasps> among these men. He may have fought beside these men. But when it comes to the safety of the people in this place, your father knows. The final decision is mine. You know where you are going? Yes? Yes. Who's there? I will explain to Captain Honeygold. Please, come with me. Lower your weapons. Now! Oh, no. This is when we lose Mr. Scott. And this is when we lose Mr. Scott. Oh, they're gonna take him with them. Can, can he make it that long? Well, won't that be convenient that he shows up on the island when Flint's there? So my question, my thought. <laughs> they know we are here. We cannot let them leave. But they didn't know you were there. We see them beach. They don't look very spry. They probably look like death upright. You observe them for a day or two. See how far into the island they're going to go. You see them get back on their ship and leave. They don't know you're there. So why expose yourself in such a way? And why waste the time? Okay, so you find out just to ensure nobody is following them or going to look for them. Why wait a day or two? Just kill them. <laughs> and on that note, that is what Anna would do if Anna was in that situation. <laughs> but Mr. Scott was Papa. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see that one coming. Interesting. So, okay, <laughs> this is what I am curious to see what happens next. As far as, we're only four episodes into season three. We've got a season and a half-ish still to go. We know there's no way Charles is just going to go and not come back. There's no way. Jack and Anne, are they even going to get off the island? How are they going to get off this island? <laughs> and we didn't see Max. So we know this can't be the end of their stories. And Flint is having this existential crisis as he's realizing. <laughs> John's telling they probably have hundred thousands of pardons. He's like, oh crap, this is the plan Thomas and I put together. I'm still waiting for the moment when we find out <laughs> that Thomas never died. I don't know, there's just something in me that says he didn't really die die we did not see a body i don't think james or miranda saw a body i think they were just told he died just wondering just wondering for a romance lover lover of romance i want them to have happy endings but I don't really think any of them, except for Billy, except for Billy, I don't think any of them deserve a happy ending. Max, maybe, because she's just trying to make the best of her circumstances. I think Jack also may have just been making the best of his circumstances. Everybody else has been pretty good throughout. Pirates! Okay. <laughs> So there we go episode four thank you so much for being with me on this adventure i would love to hear your thoughts about that mr scott revealed and others yeah share with me your thoughts i do enjoy it and in the meantime until then take care of yourselves stay hydrated i still feel like i got a mouth of salt stretch touch your toes and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.